Hi, my name is Alec. I'm the CAD specialist for laboratory operations here at Glidewell. Today we'll be talking about the Bruxer Full Arch Implant Prosthesis Scan and Design. To scan the doctor approved setup, lift the scanner door. Place the stone model and setup into the scanner anterior teeth first. And close the scanner and initiate the scan. To scan the position of the implants, begin by attaching scanning abutments onto the implant analogs on the stone base without the soft tissue replication. Carefully seat each scanning abutment in order to achieve the most accurate scan. Now, place the model with the scanning abutments into the scanner with the anterior zone facing in. Close the scanner and initiate the next scan. Finally, open the scanner door. Retrieve the model with the scanning abutments and close the scanner door. On the order form screen, begin by selecting Dental Designer 2014 from the Design Module drop-down at the top. Next, use the on-screen arch to indicate each implant site by selecting the corresponding tooth. Clicking the abutment button on the right-hand side will open the abutment options. Now, click the rightmost button in the Abutment Options window, labeled Wax Up Abutments. Select the appropriate system and size in the drop-down selection menus. Now, click the Bridge button, followed by the Wax Up Bridge button. Once you are satisfied with the order form, click OK. After the file loads, the working arch with scanning abutments will appear. Click the buccal tissue at the implant site for each glowing orb, and continue doing so until all implant sites are marked. On the frame design screen, a window with various settings will be visible. This window can be used to make minor adjustments in small areas of the design. These minor adjustments are rarely needed and we often completely ignore this window. Adjust the viewing angle of the design so that you can see the underside of the model. Splines will auto-generate, but typically need a little perfecting. To do so, click and drag around areas of the spline that are misshapen. Try and make the splines about 1.5 millimeters away from the platform and as circular as possible. Once you have completed the spline, move on to the next by clicking the arrows under the Active Cut Spline section in the Settings window. Do this until all the splines have been adjusted and inspected. After the splines have been set, click the Sculpt tab on the left-hand side to enter the sculpting phase. In the Sculpt section, our goal is not to design the prosthesis because the design is already finished, but to correct and clean up any discrepancies from the scan. The majority of this design looks good, with the exception of a few spikes and lines that are a result of the scan. To clean these discrepancies, we'll use the smoothing tool found on the left-hand side and carefully click and drag across the entire surface of the design, making sure not to affect any occlusal surfaces. Next, we'll return to the occlusal view of the design to improve the screw hole cylinders. With the adding tool, fill in the screw holes so that they can be recut using the design software. Our design software will create screw holes that are more accurate than the ones found in our setup. If needed, use the Smooth tool to even out raised areas in the material. Now, enter the assembly stage by clicking on the tab on the left side. Assembly will automatically cut through the material that was added to give us cleaner, more accurate screw holes. Yeah. 
After you have inspected the new screw holes, save the file and exit the program. Thanks for watching this episode of CAD CAM Tools Tips and Tricks. If you'd like to see more videos, check out the Tips and Tricks column in Glidewell's Lab Perspectives magazine.